Hello everyone and welcome to Company of Heroes 2 um, Wehrmacht Tips and Tricks. So basically in this quick video, this quick game, we're just going to go ahead and uh, pick a random map that I've uh, found off of the workshop and basically we're just going to... I'll show you what the what I've set up is. This is the map, is Bernie Suma, whatever it is called. It's one of the top maps right now on the workshop, so that's great. In the options, I've got all units, 80 added, because this will show you all units in the game, uh, which I can easily build and show you how they work. Um, starting resources, high fixed locations, annihilation, and that's it. And the enemies is just going to be Soviets, because I want to show you the power of Wehrmacht. And before we start, actually whilst we start, I want to explain a few things about the Wehrmacht. They are in this game a superior force, so it will be very easy to win this game because um, the Russians don't have much in this game to defend themselves with you. Honestly, in a multiplayer game, you have to be very, very good at the game in order to beat the German team. Um, so I would definitely, if you are play, if you are, if you are new and you are playing a multiplayer game against other real players, I would highly advise you to take the German side because it is very it is near enough impossible to beat the uh, the, the Germans um, in a multiplayer lobby especially if there's a, a, a good player playing it anyways uh, the German strengths are in pretty much everywhere I'd like to say their armor is superior to others um, their anti-tanks uh, anti-tank guns are pretty good and their infantry uh, that holds MG42s in particular um, which is, I think, the Grenadiers are just wonderful because they suppress the enemy team very strongly. Anyways, I'm playing in 4K here. What's this? Oh, okay. So we're just going to go ahead and pick one of these. Um, we're going to pick the Tiger Tank one. It doesn't really matter because with this old unit you can build everything inside these buildings as well. So we're just going to go and upgrade straight away. And literally, guys, watch me how I play. And that will be the best way for you to see um, how how to how to play as the Germans. So first of all, you really want to upgrade to escalate to battle phase one. Um, and I'm just going to grab one of these squads as well right next. Okay, so I'm going to use my pioneers straight away to start capturing territories. This is a really good idea for all. Uh, is to send if you don't if you cannot build, especially for Germans, you have to wait until this is done. So send your pioneers. You can build another pioneers later, send them to start capturing because you need these points and you can see this one will give me 5 munitions and free fuel which is very important. Just to let you guys know this area here is where you see your population cap, your fuel, your munitions and your manpower. Okay, there we go. We are upgraded so that means we cannot afford the next one so we're just going to send our pioneers back after capturing. And now that's it. So if I want them to go here and I shift click there, that is their next command. So we can stack commands by using shift. So they have reached that destination, now they go in here. I can do that with capturing as well. But let's not waste too much time. Let's get the um, assault um, barracks in, which are, what are they called? I've forgotten. What are they called? Infantry company, that's right, sorry. Um, then you can build uh, the mechanized company which is for defensive as you can see half tracks and oh no this is the mechanizers in oh sorry apologies uh, this is for light vehicles uh, later on you will have for medium vehicles and later on you'll have for the heaviest vehicles as well so actually I'm gonna get this mechanized one straight away and we have our first squad which is capable of building MG bunkers they have standard rifles so quite a weak squad so let's just move up looks like IAI is already engaging and our tactic is going to be send our guys across here and take over this this whole area which is probably going to be heavily attacked by the enemies because they have a bridge as well okay so we're just going to have to go ahead and get on with it now because we're starting to fall behind I'm gonna build some grenadiers because they can hold the MG42s another tip for the Germans I want to point out guys is that the uh, the, the Germans uh, uh, require f uh, a lot of fuel and munitions. If you don't hold the territories, you're not going to win. Uh, that is one of the most important. Now I'll show you how to stack commands. Let's say I want to capture this, but next I want to go here. I just click shift, and I go to next one, shift, and next one, shift. And now I can leave these guys to do their business, and they are going. You know, they're capturing this one, then they go to the next one and the next one. Okay, Grenadier Squad. As you can see here, my upgrade MG42 light machine gun, which you can, they can walk around with. 
and we can go straight in to attacking the enemies or capturing or getting into battle because these guys are very, very powerful. As soon as they build it, actually. So, let's stay in territory so they can build it. When you're building an upgrade on units, remember they have to be in your territory. Otherwise, you will not uh, get the upgrade, it'll stop. So, let's just stay in our territory. If we walk out of this blue line, which is our territory line, um, I will not be able to finish building the MG42. There we go, we have it. Now, one of our infantry units has the MG42 light machine gun, uh, capable of suppressing the enemies. Very, very powerful tool. So, we're going to just move up with that. Alright, we can get some support. Alright, what do we want? We're going to get ourselves a scout car. Oh, we're under attack. What's going on here? Alright, they're in the building. Let's just get ourselves in the building because they have better power. We don't want to lose this team. Very, very expensive team. Okay, so we're just going to... Hmm. We're not going to buy... Actually, yeah, we're going to buy the scout car. And uh, we're going to upgrade the weapon on it. It's probably the best choice. Right, we seem to be surrounded. Oh, we have a mortar on our team though, so that should be okay. Alright, now as soon as we can afford this, we will need to grab it. How are we doing? We are surrounded. This is very bad. We have Garcelles in a very bad situation here. They're throwing a grenade. Get out. Alright, retreat. Now this button down here, retreat, will retreat your troops back home. They are still getting shot at. They can still die. Okay, our scout car is in. That's our first ever vehicle. So let's just have a look at it. It's mounting an MG42. I have some spare munitions, so I'm going to grab and get the auto cannon immediately because this this vehicle is no good without the auto cannon. I can tell you that person right now. Now our MG42 squad has not done so well, um, so we're just going to click here. As you can see, reinforce on the bottom right. Just going to click that twice, and it's going to give all our units back. Now I want to point out, retreating units may just be the best thing you ever do. Uh, looks like we have enemies on our spawn now. There we go, we have the auto cannon as you can see. It's much more powerful. And now we're just going to open up on the enemies. So even though they're here, they can't really do much to me right now because I have an oh, I have already got a very powerful vehicle. Okay, let's retreat because they are damaging me quite heavily actually. I think they've thrown a grenade or something. Okay, so of course, uh, pioneers are now, the, the friendly pioneers are coming to re repair my vehicle, I believe. No, they're not. Okay, I'll use my own pioneers then. <laughs> you know, why help me? Um, basically, if you click your pioneers and just right click the vehicle, you can repair your vehicles. Very simple. Right. Oh, they have AT rifles, that's what's been damaging me. These heavily suppressed units got uh, AT rifles. Oh, these hit me again. I need to retreat. Alright, don't worry about the beginning, I mean we are capturing these areas, which is very good, so we're just going to go grab this one and this one, but make sure I don't lose this vehicle. Our machine gun team is doing the work on them right now. Right oh god. Those guards need to die. They're fully pinned again. Okay, they're getting burned. Very good. I might need to upgrade my pioneers with a flume wagon or flume something. Flume and warfare. Thank you. Okay, we are now under attack. Get in there. And I'm going to send my MG42 squad up there as well. We're going to go this way. And we are going to actually go here. And then we're going to put them into. Oh, which building am I going to put them into? This one. Alright. So now they are going that way. Where's my beloved team doing? Alright, let's move up. Oh, no, no, no. Let's move up our vehicle. Now that the enemy is dead. They have sent very powerful units our way, so that, that's why it was so hard to kill them in the first place. Alright, so let's go over here. We need Battle Phase 2 immediately. We need tanks. How are we doing over here? We are doing very poorly. But that's okay, I have I have units moving up. There's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. Um, I have some spare money I can build. 
Yeah, urban assault grenadiers. This is a good good unit. Uh, they have a flamethrower, which will be able to take out anybody over there. Should be no problem at all. Now that these guys are on their way, actually, let's get you guys hmm, over there because they will try and take my f this fuel point, and this fuel point is vital for me right now. Plus 16 fuel per minute is a ridiculous amount. We cannot lose that fuel point. Okay. This is not, Battle Phase 2 has not been upgraded just yet. Oh god. Okay, so now we are engaging the hostile flamethrower unit, engineers. There we go, we're in. Okay. Here they are, shooting. Lovely. They are mounted flamethrowers, which will be very powerful. We're just going to go and take ourselves in there. As you can see, a little line uh, on the map on the bottom left is which way they will take. This is very important to keep track of, otherwise you can send your units for the enemy territory, which is obviously going to get you killed. Now we are gaining ground. Actually, we're getting ground heavily. We're gaining ground quite heavily, which is wonderful. I'm just going to engage more and more units, and the AI should start capturing. I'm gonna do as much damage to the enemies with this vehicle as I can. That is a very powerful... Oh god, okay, retreat, 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 retreat. If you press uh, U, you can um, make your vehicle reverse, which will make it not having to have to turn left or right. Uh, they usually do that. I'm not going to engage that because I'm on low health. 50 cal can destroy this vehicle very fast. So... Now we can actually get tanks in, uh, which is this this particular um, this particular nation's most powerful tool. Uh, definitely, one hundred percent is the uh, the tanks. Uh, the tanks can out outgun uh, the Russian tanks by by ridiculous amounts. So when the Russians start something in tanks, your most useful thing that you could possibly do is to send. Ah, oh, thank you. It, the most powerful thing you could ever do is to send your tanks against them and your AT, uh, because you have much more power in this sense than the Russians. Um, and as you saw, the Germans can build an. A it's not just because it's AI. Trust me, the Germans can build vehicles million times sooner. Well, a lot sooner than um, the Russians could. The Russians just got a 50 cal truck. I have already been mounting this vehicle for quite some time. Alright, so this is a very, very powerful beginning vehicle. If you get this and you utilize this vehicle well to kill the enemy infantry, you're going to be in a lot of advantage. Just make sure they can't throw grenades. This, this is light armor. It can get damaged by conventional bullets. Um, and as you saw, they had guard squad, which was damaging my vehicle quite heavily. Okay, so we are here. We're taking back our fuel point. Oh God. We have ourselves, what was that? That, that is a Sherman. Uh, we've just been blown up. I have selected you, can you just retreat please? Sorry, I've just sent this squad in, in panic. Alright, retreat in my scout car back to spawn. We have a tank, our uh, AI's got ourselves a tank, got themselves a tank, I've been hit heavily, we're just going to retreat our car, we do not want to lose any units, remember that, it's very important that you do not lose any units. Alright, so now we can build tanks, we're going to go ahead and build a Panzer IV Alps, which is 37.7 centimeter gun, yeah, let's go ahead and build this one, what's this one? That's a command tank, not interested, and that's a medium tank Panzer IV, we're just going to build this one in particular, it looks quite good. What's this one? Doesn't tell me what gun it has. We'll just build this one, see what it's like. Um, these are, you know, from the old units, um, 80 added, so there's actually 80 units for all factions, which is wonderful. And now we are going to escalate to Battle Phase 3. Let's do that and get Schnickel Sticks. Gotta love a bit of Schnickel Sticks. Alright, grab that and grab our units out of here. And they are going to go and take. and take. Yeah. And we will build a bunker uh, as soon as this is captured, pointing over there, so that any to anybody that tries to cross will die. Looks like the enemies had spawned, but uh, we have to oh abandon! Don't kill it! Don't kill it! Right, this is a good good thing I can show you. 
Right now we can capture the enemy tank, right? If a uh, tank is abandoned, like so, all you have to do is, if there's a spinning circle on the mouse, grab some units and get inside. This, ca this will be captured. See, now this tank belongs to us, the, the, the American tank now belongs to us. So now we need to fix it up because it is heavily damaged and it's ours. Alright, what's going on here? This is not good. Alright, let's quickly build this bunker. Oh god, damn good. Oh my! Alright then. Well, they can't actually cross, which is good. But we're going to have to go ahead and build our machine gun list a bit further back. Alright, anyways, we are in. Uh, what's going on here? Alright, so that's fixed up. Right, there it is. We're going to get ourselves an MG42 straight on the top. That's our little tank with the little, little cute little tank on it. Right. Uh, we're going to have to grab a new engineer squad by going to spawn and getting them, and they're going to fix up our Sherman. Uh, M4C Sherman, which is a very powerful tank, so the enemy team has just messed themselves up very heavily. We're about to escalate to Battle Phase 3 and we'll get ourselves a big tank and push straight into the enemy lines. As you can see on the map, on the tactical map on the bottom left, right now we have taken over the top left and we are quite far pushed back to spawn, which is a problem. So now I'm going to focus on helping my friendly AI with the power that I have built up over the last few, um, over the last few minutes. And we're just going to push straight forward to the enemy team. We seem to have a Russian tank coming in. Two Russian tanks coming in. Quite big tanks as well, we're just going to engage. Oh, this is a very small cannon. There we go, rear armor here. Okay. This tends to happen with AR because it spams a lot, but this, this can happen to, to absolutely anybody. So... Right, this, this tank is very weak, so we're going to actually go ahead and get ourselves a Panzer IV medium tank, which is quite more powerful. If you right click when you're in barracks, it'll get this little flag, which will basically, that's when the tanks are spawned, they will go there straight away. Oh, stop hitting, stop hitting the tanks, stop hitting the tanks, it's abandoned. There we go. Right, so we have two more abandoned tanks, guys, you know what we're going to do about that, right? Hopefully our team will capture some as well. We're just going to go ahead and get an odd stupid squad quickly, get them over here, capture this tank. And we will have a very big armoured um, armored column which will take out anything in our wake. Alright, so now, uh, our NGs, where's our NGs? They're oh yeah, they're repairing our tank. Our Sherman is almost up and running. Uh, which is quite funky that we have a sh oh M4C Sherman, this is for the Russians, I do apologise. Alright, so now that we have built a bunker on the top left, we'll need to upgrade it with an MG42 heavy machine gun so that anything that crosses this bridge, and because it's a small bridge, only infantry can cross, that's why we do not need any AT protection in this area. Um, we know that we can hold this with just a machine gun team and our two squads. Uh, this house has been blown down, so what we can do is we can go to these guys and grab a trench. Uh, once we have placed it the correct way, which we don't seem to be able to right now, um, it's a very big trench, quite frankly impossible to place down the way I want to place it down, or place it in front of the MG. This is not very advisable, but this is for the showing purposes, you guys see what I'm talking about. Alright, we are getting flanked. Right now I have a very big armoured column, and we are now going to build the final the final uh, structure which will make enable us to build very big tanks. And we're going to go ahead and grab another MG42 because they're very powerful. Alright. This small Panzer IV will know not to build again. Uh, we need to retreat it by pressing U and make sure it goes backwards, it doesn't turn its rear armor to the enemy. Don't worry about him, we'll be fine. And this Panzer is not exactly powerful, so... Oop, he's shooting this tank. Somebody's going to need to cap that tank fast. Where's my units? They're built? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Grab it. Grab the tank. There you go. Of course, grabbing the tank will delete your... Uh oh, we may lose it here. Yep, we lost it. It's abandoned. Again, <laughs> re-abandoned. 
Alright, so anyways, that panzer has been destroyed. We need to move our vehicles up. So we can get this fucked up and panzer out of here. Alright. I think that seems to be just about it for now. We're gonna upgrade the optics on the scout car because it is a scout car after all. And here we go, here we have our last upgrade. So Tigers, Elephant and the Tiger Race we can grab later. But right now we can get a Panther, which is quite a powerful tank, so we're going to go ahead and grab one. Um and now we can see twice as far on the scout car, which is very powerful. I can upgrade optics on everyone, but it's not necessary. So I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Don't worry, the more tanks they send my way into my spawn, the more kills I will pick up now. And I don't have to fight them in their territory. Which is quite a good idea to actually have them attack me whilst they're slowly damaging my structures. And I will take them all out slowly. This is a very powerful tank, so we're going to go ahead and... Oh, he's charged! Oh, he's charged! Well, that's a bastard. Alright, the Russians are charging. We're going to have to go ahead and go for it now. Right, we have a Tiger available now, as soon as we can afford it. We're going to send some more units down to capture. Alright. Move up our panzers to destroy the enemy panzers. Oh god. We've lost we're losing a lot of units. This is oh yes, thank you. This was just in time. They have very powerful tanks. These are actually incredibly expensive for the Russians. They shouldn't have so many. Um, in a multiplayer game it'll be things will be different. So let's just grab another engineer squad quickly to repair. Alright, so there we go. Here they come with the light. They're, they seem to be running out of tanks now, which is good. And as you can see, our Panther, I'm going to upgrade him with our tips and with an MG. This is a very powerful tank. A very powerful tank. Alright, you guys. Looks like every tank has blown up now. Oh, God. Alright, let's grab this mortar. Whilst these guys are repairing that pile of poo. We're going to go ahead and grab these guys to repair our Sherman. Fire your weapons, guys. Come on. They're, they're sending very powerful tanks my way, so it's quite acceptable that they're doing this. Um, but we're going to have to charge now because they are non-stop charging us. So we're going to have to counter-charge them and basically take over the game now. It's uh, getting very dangerous. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and chase down the enemy Sherman that's just gone this way. Because that Sherman um, has just taken out one of my tanks and I don't want him to. This is not an advisable idea, there he is. He's getting repaired. I've just seen him. He, I want him dead, basically. Fire your weapon! Come on. There we go. Alright, that was intense. Retreat. They've lost their tank, that's all I need. That's a scout car, we can grab that kill as well. Alright, retreat to my panzers. Before I lose my tank. Oh, okay, that was intense. Um, <laughs> Alright, so now the Art Panzer's retreating. Uh, we can... Can I build a Tiger yet? Yes, I can build a Tiger Ace. We're gonna need a Tiger. Alright. We have lost a lot of tanks. And this tank is still not repaired because I've only got two engineers on it. Right. This is a very bad tank. I will never build this tank again. Very disappointing indeed. Hmm... Alright, it's a very cheap tank, so that's fair enough. For the beginning of the game I can see where it would be useful, but not at the moment. This is a very nice skin though. I mean, I'm, I'm playing on the highest settings in 4K, so this is looking so wonderful on my screen. You guys won't get the full blow because YouTube likes to render down a lot. Oh, we lost so many units. Okay. Retreat our pioneers and get on with the attack. How is the top doing? Ah, we have built our trench. So just put the units into your trench, and basically the units will stay there and fire. Excuse me, that was disgusting. And fire out of it. Oh, we have a 234 coming up on our tanks. This is now turned into a full armored battle. Make sure to engage all your tanks. As you can see, this one's not doing anything because he's not where he is. And the tank physics are crap in this game, so you're gonna have to make sure that you click on the tanks so they all find their way to attack it. We got more. 
Oh, that, I think this should be the friendly. Alright, let's clear out these squads because they may attack. Tanks in this game have unlimited ammunition. I wanted to let you know because it's different in different games. Uh, in this game, tanks do have unlimited ammunition. There's a squad held up in this house, so we're just going to go ahead and take the squad, the last squad member down. There we go, he's dead. And we're just going to push up and basically crush the enemy everywhere they are. Ah, oh, we have ourselves a Tiger Ace to help support the attack. And actually, I think I saw three guys left. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab this Panzer with that squad. you got to have to make sure you multitask a lot in this game. The Tiger is very slow. Mm, we can only give him upgraded optics. Alright, so actually we have a tank over here. We're going to go tank hunt and we're going to have to tr drop this tank down. Uh, because our spawn won't survive that attack. So we're going to have to retreat and take out the tank. Oh, he has taken a Panzer shot. That's a very heavy tank. That's not just a standard T-34. It's a T-34-85. It's got an 85mm gun, uh, gun, which is very powerful. But this Tiger... Uh, I think it's like a 1-0 something, I think. I don't actually know what the size of the gun on, the pan on this Panzer is, but it's bigger. Um, I think it's an 88. I'm sure it's an 88. Yeah, I'm sure it's an 88. So it's actually a bigger... Oh my god, we're going now, tank. <laughs> I think we're going to have to go this way. Because this is where they're sending all the Panzers down now. Alright, Panzer down. Alright, so now that we have established a foothold, a little bit of a foothold, we're going to grab our... Oh, lovely. Free tank. Lovely. Got to love a free tank. We're going to grab these guys and start capturing territory. So this one and this one should be free to grab. And we are just going to go ahead. This is, by the way, a nice custom map. I like this custom map. This guy's getting fixed up. So we just... We, we cannot stop because they will build more tanks and they will send more tanks our way and we don't have much uh, to counter them. So we're going to move up. We have ourselves an anti-infantry vehicle. That was a 450 caliber machine gun. You need to kill that vehicle. That, that vehicle will kill any infantry in its wake. And obviously these Panthers are just taking their own way to, to the places. And now my Panther is being completely abandoned, left alone, because these guys haven't gotten there. But we're getting flank. Nice flanking move. Uh, as you can see, this Sherman is completely lost his way, uh, which might be a problem. Uh, he's dead. Uh, you need to capture there, and we're going to have to go for this fuel point. Uh, taking a few from the Russians right now seems to be like the most important thing we could do. This Sherman is actually very good. Oh, behind us, another one. Uh, we're going to have to keep doing this, unfortunately. Ah, we're losing men. There we go. We have lost the squad now. Yeah, let's move up. We're going to go towards the enemy spawn now. Um, and try and cause some havoc over there. We have some tanks on the spawn, uh, which we have captured. The T-34 and what else do I have here? I have this little tank defending as well because it's a terrible tank to attack with. I saw that the gun... Oh god, a KV-1. Oh, it's a flamethrower one. Thank god for that. Okay take him down, target down, that's a very big tank, I think that was KV-1 with the KV-85, but I'm sure that was a KV-1, I'm very bad with Russian tanks nowadays, I don't know why, so we are now at spawn with so much German power, that tiger's not on fire, it's just in the fire, we have so much German power, uh, firepower that they, they have nothing they can do, um, so we can easily win this if we'd like, or we can just slowly retreat and capture territories, but you've got to remember, you have to target the enemy AT and the enemy tanks because they can turn the tide of battle so fast. But remember, when you're playing as the Germans, the most important thing is to know that your tanks out outpower the enemy tanks by a mile. Remember that and you will win. Remember that you can always get support like this mortar half truck I can send in just for show purposes. And remember that you can build many, many different units um, that will out outpower the Russians, um, which is, this is, this, you don't even need tips and tricks for these people, because there is, it's very hard to lose, you'd have to be very bad at the game to lose with the Germans, because no matter what you do, when you get a Tiger, 
in your power, you, if the enemy is done, they have nothing they can do. So remember, tanks are very powerful. Uh, pretty much every single one of these tanks you're looking at can out like this. This uh, Ostwind can pretty much destroy any light vehicles or anything like that. Um, you have MG42 teams. These are all from the old units, 80 added. So if you guys are looking at units you've never seen, that is because I'm using a mod called All Units 80 Added for showing for showing purposes. Because this this mod basically has every unit in the game buyable from the bottom right, from the barracks, etc. So download All Units mod um, if you want. I can send, uh, put the link in the description. You just guys just gotta ask for it, and I will do that. Um, and basically, yeah, this is pretty much the win. Uh, we have ourselves a mortar half track now. Just give him some support. It's not necessary, but I'm actually going to show you the multiple rocket launcher as well. Well, it has to be built. It takes a while. But there you go. This is pretty much it. This is the uh, Tiger Race, which you can get through one of the special commanders, but you can actually build it through this mod, uh, which is lovely. It's a pretty nice skin, I've got to say. If you press and hold Alt um, and move your mouse, you can move the camera into any cinematics or anywhere you'd like. Oh, hello, Commander. That is really cool, isn't it? I'm going to screenshot this. Nice. Beautiful, isn't it? It really is. Yeah, I'm just showing you some cinematic views that you can make. Um, as you can see how Sherman is right next to it. Stalin sent his dog! I'm back, alright. Uh, what was that? Alright, let's just woo, get out of here. Alright, so that's it. Basically, the enemy's trying to get us, but one of them was destroyed. They're just going to move up and destroy the next one. And looks like the AI has given up. Hey, there you are, okay. I'm going to show you the Panzerwerfer. If I get there in time, I don't think I will. Basically, I'll actually show you just quickly on this point, yeah? So let's say this is your target here, this house, you just fire. And basically it's a very powerful rocket barrage that will clear off any infantry and light vehicles in the area. Very good vehicle to use. Anyways, this has pretty much been it from the Nose to Pop. There's the easy victory that we had. I mean, this was not, uh, no part of this was I worried that I would lose. Even when they were at our spawn, I knew that we would turn it around with just one Panther coming in and taking out all Russian tanks. Have you seen how many tanks they sent our way and how many we have destroyed? Honestly, this is a perfect example to show you that the German tank can outpower any vehicle. And I would highly advise you guys, if you are new to the game, to do that. Uh, to just go ahead and play with the, the Germans, just to learn the game, because they are so easy to play with. Um, I wanted to ask you guys, if you guys want anything, then just let me know in the comment section below if you want any changes to the channel or if you want to see some different things. If you want to see multiplayer games, actually me going into random multiplayer lobbies, there's our victory. If you guys want me to go into any multiplayer lobbies, etc., all you have to do is let me know and I will go ahead and do that. Thank you guys for watching, it's been your host, Noscope Pop, and I'll see you in the next one.